Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to our second Kidney Cancer Association Patient and Survivor Conference. We're really excited to have you all here and um, to have, I think, a really exciting program. Uh, I think we'll have people kind of coming in and out throughout the day um, uh, because we did publish the agenda and, and I think, uh, you know, kind of welcome people as they come in. I I'm Kim Rathmel and I'm hosting this year's meeting and um, I want to start off with a, just a few housekeeping notes. Um, first of all, this is our room for the day, uh, but I think uh, with a, only one exception from 12 to 2, we have the building, so um, there's lots of um, quiet places to sit if you meet somebody and you really want to have a conversation. Um, you're free to use the building as, as you wish. Bathrooms are all over, but right outside the door, we, we got the good room um, as far as bathrooms, but they're right here. Uh, there's, you saw food outside at every break, and in between there will be food and coffee. Lunch is going to be in the Trillium Room, and I'll announce that as we get closer to lunch, um, which is the dining room in the back. Um, other, uh, if you have questions uh, of our speakers, um, we have a great panel of speakers who are all um, you know, excited to in engage with you. And if you have questions during the talk um, or at the end of the talks, somebody else probably has the same question, feel free to ask it. There's a microphone in the back, and we ask you to use that so um, we can hear the question. Also, because um, this year, the entire program is going to be uh, broadcast on live video feed. So right now, I think it's on because it's after 9 o'clock. So I don't know, people in Asheville, hello, and, and anywhere else. Um, the live stream uh, video is um, up there on the side if you have anybody you want to send it to and uh, have them join us. So um, with that, we will keep to time. Mike, can I ask you to grab Melissa and bring her in one second? So uh, a program like this involves a fair amount of coordination, um, and we have really, I'll, I'll wait till, so I can embarrass her when she comes in. Uh, one person at Lineberger who does this very, very well, and, and maybe she's avoiding coming in here. Is she here? Oh, okay, we'll do this again in a minute. All right, we'll do this at the end. I have a couple of more things that I wanted to say. So first of all, um, again, uh, welcome and thank you. We're so glad you're here. Um, this is one of only about four of these regional kidney cancer association uh, patient and survivor meetings. And um, we're really happy to be able to bring it to the Southeast region. But it's not just to bring it to us to this region, but this area is really a um, tremendous hotbed of research and interest in kidney cancer. UNC and Duke, and I, I hear folks who come from Hopkins. Um, so this, this area has a lot of interest in this cancer. So this, this cancer is not at all alone. There are dozens of doctors who really um, dedicate themselves to this cancer, and you'll hear from a bunch of them today. So the purpose of this meeting is really threefold. <clears throat> um, first is to give you information, because if you're armed with information, that, that really can be the most valuable tool in some ways in um, uh, navigating this whole process. The second is to bring you together, um, uh, to bring you together with other caregivers and other survivors and as well um, with the doctors to share experiences, share ideas. I heard some of that happening already, talking about clinical trials and where is it and who gets to do it and you know what's coming next. We really want you to do that, really um, you know, en engage with um, other people who are experiencing the same thing and, and know that you're not alone. Um, the experience that you have is uh, shared by everyone else in this room and on uh, the live video feed. <laughs> um, and then to bring us all together, to bring you guys together with the doctors um, uh, outside of the clinic. Um, you know, the clinic interaction is a very different thing than having coffee um, out here in the lobby. So um, uh, the, the doctors who uh, we've invited here are volunteering their time today. Um, they'll be here around their sessions, so grab them when you see them um, if you want to talk to them. Um, uh, but um, it's a chance to share some ideas and some common interests. And you know, we're not here because kidney cancer is glamorous. Um, it's a dangerous and it's a, an elusive enemy, um, but together um, we're at a place and a time um, with lots of new therapies and new ideas that we can make really um, uh, big differences. It's a time to be very hopeful. Um, and that's why we put on these meetings. <laughs> we'll thank her later. <laughs> she probably does. Um, 
but, but we have a common mission, and that's to defeat kidney cancer. And we do that by sharing what's new, telling stories, and getting to know all the fellow members of your team uh, who are uh, 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 the doctors as well as um, your comrades. And with that, um, uh, let me know if you have any questions throughout the day. I'll be here all day, and have a great day. So, and when you see Melissa, who runs the table, just thank her. She put uh, an enormous amount of effort into this, as so she does um, all of her meetings. She's really, really good. Hopefully, we'll get to applaud her later. Okay. Um, so with that, I'm going to turn over to Mike Lawing, who's our advocate for the Kidney Cancer Association.